Hello, spiritual beings. This is Jeremy Anaker again, lifelong enthusiast for transformation, consciousness studies, and healing. Today, I want to do emotional freedom technique around the pattern of hyper responsibility. It presents in many different ways. And so I'm going to tap through the meridian, see if you can find yourself in some of the phrases I use. And if you follow along, it doesn't quite fit. You just sit, sit with the spirit of the attitude that is dismissing hyper responsibility in energy from the meridians. Here we go. Hyper responsibility is an imbalance that harms me and others. Even as I have this pattern of hyper responsibility, I completely love and appreciate myself. Hyper responsibility. Even as the hyper responsibility has been a lifelong pattern, I am bringing compassion to myself. It was a coping strategy developed. Perhaps one was the oldest of a larger family. And so there was intense, intense pattern created around taking care of the family. Perhaps you, one would add a type of dysfunction in the family. Perhaps it was alcoholism or it could have been workaholic parents where you were, had to take on extra responsibility. So you have hyper responsibility as a lifelong pattern. It could be also that you were the oldest grandchild of many. And so in the family dynamic, there's a lot of pressure to, for you to be something special, to be the hero in the family, to be, to be the most successful or uh, the most incredible human being. And so you got a lot of attention, but it, it also created a setting where you had to live up to something and it made you hyper responsible. So hyper responsibility can be packaged in so many different ways. And I'm giving a, an extreme presentation of it that these things can also create an energy environment where disease can present in the body. For instance, through anxiety and trying to make everything right in the world, one might develop an ulcer. So even as I have this harmful form of personality patterning, and even as it harms my health, I completely love and appreciate myself. And I'm in, in an encouraging attitude about going into new patterns. And that is the, the embodiment of a love and, appreci and appreciation for myself. So be it. Hyper responsibility later in life could present as um, a, a, an unreasonable view of your role with a sick loved one, a husband or wife, or other family members. And the role one plays can be excessive to the point where one harms themselves. Can also be such a strong pattern of hyper responsibility almost like the heart chakra is pushed forward where you're leaning in other people's lives. And because of that patterning, people can't even imagine how to support you, that you're so busy taking care of them. They don't even imagine that you have needs. So hyper-responsibility is damaging to, to the practitioner and to the people around them. And that a dysfunction is presenting or one person is the hero and everybody else is winning. And in life, it all can catch up to you. So even as life catches up to me, as my personality imbalances are revealing harms, instead of despairing, instead of going into depression, et cetera, I completely love and appreciate myself. In any strong personality construct, energy is suppressed, repressed in the body, and it can get heavier and heavier. Depression could even present. And even as depression might present in the body, 
as a result from a strong personality imbalance, trying to be happy through how people see me in the world and taking on extra responsibility for their safety. I can completely love and appreciate myself. In the intentional territory, one can go back into alignment, thinking about trusting the universe with family members and other people in life, that the universe, the source is actually in charge. It's taking care of everybody. They're all fulfilling a contract with source. They're all achieving victory in life, finding ways to be happy in spite of circumstances. That's everyone's job. Your job is to be the example of a highly evolved being who is in balance and in a joy space. And that's really where you want to be. So being responsible for the world is harmful. It's time to own it, not beat self up, to give compassion to self for being in a clever conditioning. All humans are caught up in various forms of clever conditioning. And the true way to healing is to start with love and appreciation. Even as I have a strong pattern of love and appreciation, I completely love and appreciate myself. Completely love and appreciate myself. Dismissing the old patterns and aligning to the new patterns. I trust the universe with all of my family members and all of my friends from my community and everyone I know and everyone I pay attention to in life. They are being taken care of by the source. My job is to rest and be spiritually bright and be influential through good alignment. Thank you for listening, everybody. If you'd like me to walk through your issues in the tapping routine, give me some notes below in the feed or through an email through my website at affinitytransformations.com. Pay attention to more videos that are coming. Thank you for listening.